Hey, this is Greg, and in this video, we're talking about the magic design feature inside of Canva. As a reminder, this video is part of a tutorial series on the latest AI tools in Canva. So if you want to check out some of those other videos and learn all about the different AI tools in Canva, just check the description below this video and you'll find links to all the different videos that are part of this series. As a second reminder, I do have a couple of free giveaways that are complements to this learning series. So I have my Canva AI tool guide, which is just a quick visual reference to really go over the each tool where where to find it, how to use it, tips for using the tool. So just an easy reference you can have handy whenever you're working with these tools. And then the second free giveaway is my visual style guide, which is really gonna help you start to learn the language you can use when prompting and creating AI images to really get a variety of great results. So it's gonna give you over hundred keywords, descriptions to go along with those. And it's gonna really help you start to build that sort of visual language and that library of terms, you need to get great results. So I'm gonna put a link in the first pinned comment below and also in the description below this video, sign up for my email and you can get those free guides. Let's talk about the magic design feature inside of Canva. So this is Canva's way of trying to create a custom template based on what you asked for by using their AI technology. Now, if you've used Canva at all, you know you can go in specifically and, and search among templates that already exist that have been created by different designers. So if you're creating for something, something for social media, you could come in here, click on social media. You could choose one of these categories, click see all to see even more and search for templates and launch a template that way. But you could also just here on the homepage, type in what you want. So you could type in something about an Instagram post about my dog. You could type that in up here or maybe I'm creating a presentation. And so I'm gonna type in specifically what presentation I'm creating, and I'm gonna give it some information about the presentation I wanna create. So I'm gonna type in presentation. So let me just click in this search box up here, and I'll type in presentation on the principles of graphic design. So when you do this, it's gonna give you a template, and it's gonna populate that template with some of the information on the subject matter you give it. Now, is it perfect? No, but we'll talk about that more here in a second, but first let's just go ahead and hit enter. Now, when you search in here on the home screen like this, sometimes it shows you your particular content here, but if I wanna see the Canva templates, so in other words, now it's showing me my designs, it's showing me things that, that happen down here, and then here Canva templates, but if I click right here on the Canva templates, then that's when it's gonna go over here, and we're gonna see a series of results up top here that are the magic design results. Then down here, we're gonna see all these pre-designed templates. But right here, these are ones that it populated based on the subject I has given, have given it. So we can see here, principles of graphic designs. And if we just hover over a slide, it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna go through and we see that it's attempted to populate this with the information. Uh, on the subject matter that we gave it. Now, at this point in time, it's just gonna give you back seven slides. So you could ask for like 100 slides up here. It's not gonna matter, it's gonna give you seven. So this is limited. And I'm gonna talk about some ways I think you can improve it, uh, but it is a feature of Canva. Now, this isn't the only way you can get to it. You, you could also just launch a blank presentation and then here inside of Canva, oh, under this design tab, let me just close out so you can see how I got to that under this design tab right here. It says use four plus words to describe. And then this is again where you're gonna say uh, presentation on principles of graphic design. Let's say, let's say we wanna be more specific. Let's just say color theory. So we're gonna be even more specific here. We're gonna type out color theory. And then we can see down here, there are some generic results that show up down here, but this here, we see it working. You see how this is sort of pulsing and flashing. When you see it pulsing and flashing like this from the home screen or here, that means it's coming up with these magic design results and it's gonna show you magic design here. It's got this crown because this is a pro feature. Uh, and then suddenly we can come over and we can populate uh, this by clicking on it. But first let's click see all to see all the magic design results. Usually you get eight results here. And again, they each are gonna have seven slides. And if we hover over any of these, we can start to see a preview. We can also click on one to go in and see all the individual slides. So if I don't like this one, let's back out for a second. Let's try this one here. Again, we can click in to see all the different slides. And if you like one like this, let's apply all the seven pages. And then suddenly if we go in here through our pages, just like that very easily, we've got this starting point. Now, is it gonna be perfect? No. You have to still go in here and you still have to uh, make sure the information is relevant, is actually factual, is what you want. So you need to be doing your own proofreading. You need to make sure that you make any corrections you need to. You may wanna come in here and update the design because it does give a very basic design when you use this sort of magic design feature. It doesn't make it you know super, super you know detailed, 
but that's okay. Sometimes you may just want to create something quickly, have some of the information in here, and that's when this is not a bad idea. Now, let me just go back to this home page here that I have in a different browser tab. I could come in here and let's say I wanted to actually have more than just those seven slides. Well, I could type in another subject matter and then combine what I get with this with my other uh, results I just created. So let's come in here and instead of color theory, let's say, let's say the importance of alignment in graphic design, something like this. So let's give it another topic here. So again, it's it's using that AI technology to sort of get information on the topic that we gave it, and then it's gonna give us some designs based on that. Now, I do actually have in my other tab this other design here, so I might wanna check and look and see what the graphic design elements here are, because I'm gonna look for a similar result in here. So again, here are my results. I can see them all here. So let's look at this one here. And so maybe I'm gonna click on this one and customize this template, sure. So you'll notice here from the home screen, it does work a little different where it's asking you to customize these template. Here are the seven slides. I think it's a little bit more friendly when you actually come in here and work under this design tab. So there are slight differences in this tool and how you apply it, whether you're working on this design tab or on the home screen. Again, I do find the design tab within the project interface a little bit more friendly. So that's my recommendation, but you can do whatever you want uh, and whatever works best for you. So again, I could choose customize template there. And then of course I have different slides here on a different topic. And so I might come in here and a little trick here, if I go into grid view, I could actually select all these by clicking on the first one, shift clicking to select them all. I'm gonna hit control C to copy, or I could right click copy, come into my other presentation here. Again, jump into that grid view. I wanna paste it right after this slide. So I'm gonna click on this slide. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna click, choose paste, and then boom, now I have all my slides in here. So now suddenly I have a section on color theory. And then if I click on my slides down here, I can go through my color theory slides and then I have now a section on why alignment matters. So even though it only gives you seven uh, pages, you could get really specific on topics and choose subtopics within your main topic. And you could use this magic design feature to really quickly build out, you know, the, the framework of a design. You might still want to do and go in here and check and make sure that all your fonts and everything and all your uh, styling in terms of colors matches up because if I'm copying and pasting one thing and another, I might come in here and if I change this to a different font like this, I might change all so that all of my fonts get updated throughout my whole design. Same thing with colors. So very quickly you could unify, unify your style elements in terms of your fonts and your color so it looks like one cohesive design again you are going to want to proofread double check all the the uh information as well as adding your own supplemental information because ai is a great tool but it's not meant to just do all the work for you it's meant to save you time but then you have to come in there supplement you know make it your own make it really what you want it to be make sure you're bringing something to it besides just letting all the AI do the work because again, AI is usually not gonna get it perfect. Okay, but this is a way to come in here and very quickly, you know, build out a design. Now, can you do it other ways? Yes, you can template by just choosing any template, even a non-magic design template. You can choose any template. And then to do this sort of templating where you're copying sort of pages that sort of fit a particular type of content. And then you can choose tools, use tools like ChatGPT, uh, to brainstorm and help you come up with information. Again, when you're using AI like that, you wanna make sure that you qualify it, make sure it's accurate, supplement with your own information. But this is a way, using this magic design feature in Canva, to just design things very quickly. Again, it gets you beyond the blank screen, it gives you a format to follow, so you might say, yes, I like, I like this page for you know introducing a new topic, and then on other pages here, I'm gonna give some different facts about it, some different supplementary things. So you can very quickly use this sort of magic design to come up with some ideas, find a few slides that work, uh, research other topics, research subtopics, and quickly put something together rather than just always starting from scratch. So magic design in Canva, just one way you can leverage that AI brain, that AI power within Canva to potentially save time. So try it out. See what works for you, experiment. Don't expect it to get it perfect. Don't allow it to do all the work for you because it will make mistakes. Make sure you're double checking, making sure, make sure you're supplementing with good information. 
uh, strengthening it, you know, all those things that you want to do when you're using AI, but it is a tool that can help you. So try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Good luck.